Hi, friends. It's me, Nova, and today we're going on an amazing space adventure to explore our solar system. We'll learn all about the sun and the eight planets that orbit around it. So, hop aboard my rocket ship, and let's blast off into space. First, let's start with the sun. The sun is a giant, glowing ball of gas at the center of our solar system. It's a star, just like the ones you see twinkling in the night sky, but it's much closer to us. The sun is super important because it gives us light and warmth. Without it, life on Earth wouldn't be possible. It's also huge, over a million Earths could fit inside the sun. But don't get too close, it's extremely hot. The sun is what keeps all the planets in our solar system orbiting around it. Now, let's visit the closest planet to the sun, Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in the fastest, zipping around the sun in just 88 days. Because it's so close to the sun, it gets very hot during the day, hot enough to melt some metals. But at night, it cools down a lot and becomes freezing cold. Mercury's surface is covered in craters, just like the moon. It doesn't have any moons of its own, but it's always racing around the sun, showing off its speed. Next, we're heading to Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun, and it's the hottest planet in our solar system. That's because it has thick clouds of gas that trap heat inside, making it even hotter than Mercury. Venus is almost the same size as Earth, and we sometimes call it Earth's sister planet. But it's very different. The air on Venus is too dangerous for us to breathe, and the clouds are made of poisonous gas. It's also the only planet that spins backwards. So, if you were on Venus, the sun would rise in the west instead of the east. Now, let's visit our home planet, Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun, and it's just the right distance away to have perfect conditions for life. We have water to drink, air to breathe, plants to grow, and animals to share the planet with. Earth is the only planet we know of where life exists. We also have a beautiful moon that lights up the night sky and helps make the ocean's tides. Earth is a special planet, and we are lucky to live here. Next up is Mars, the red planet. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun, and it gets its red color from the rusty iron in its soil. Mars is much colder than Earth, but scientists think there may have been water on Mars long ago. Who knows, maybe one day people will travel to Mars and explore it. Mars has the tallest volcano in the solar system, called Olympus Mons, and it's also home to some pretty amazing canyons and valleys. It's a fascinating planet that we're still learning a lot about. Now, get ready, because we're visiting the biggest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. Jupiter is so huge that more than 1,300 Earths could fit inside it. It's a gas giant, which means it's made mostly of gas, and it doesn't have a solid surface like Earth. Jupiter has a giant storm called the Great Red Spot, which has been going on for hundreds of years. This storm is so big that it's larger than Earth. Jupiter also has more than 75 moons, and one of them, Ganymede, is even bigger than Mercury. Jupiter is like the king of the planets with its size and its many moons. Now, let's take a look at Saturn, the planet with the most beautiful rings. Saturn is another gas giant, and its rings are made of ice, rocks, and dust. These rings are huge and stretch out far from the planet. Saturn is so far from the Sun that it takes about 30 Earth years to complete one orbit. Like Jupiter, Saturn also has lots of moons, more than 80. One of its moons, called Titan, has rivers and lakes, but they're made of a liquid called methane instead of water. Saturn's rings make it one of the most stunning planets in the solar system. 
Next, we're heading to Uranus, a planet that's very different from the others. Uranus is special because it spins on its side. It's an icy giant, and like Jupiter and Saturn, it's made mostly of gas. Uranus is super cold because it's so far from the sun. It also has rings, but they're much harder to see than Saturn's. Uranus is the first planet that was discovered with a telescope, and it's one of the coldest places in the solar system. Finally, we're visiting Neptune, the last planet in our solar system. Neptune is an icy giant, just like Uranus, and it's the windiest planet. Neptune has huge storms with super-fast winds that can blow stronger than any storm on Earth. It's also the farthest planet from the Sun, so it's very cold and takes a really long time to orbit the Sun, 165 Earth years for just one trip around. Neptune is deep blue, and even though it's so far away, we've learned a lot about it from telescopes and space probes. And that's our solar system, friends. We have the Sun at the center, keeping everything in orbit, and eight amazing planets, each one different from the other. From the smallest, fastest Mercury to the giant, stormy Jupiter, and the icy, distant Neptune, space is full of wonders. Thanks for coming on this journey with me, and I hope you had fun learning about the solar system. I can't wait for our next adventure. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this story, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to hear more fun and exciting stories, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss an upload. Also, feel free to share this video with your friends and family who might love story time as much as you do. See you in the next one.